High School Life. <laughs> Cherished and amazing viewers of High School Life, I welcome you to yet another intriguing episode of High School Update right here on High School Life. As always, my name is Sibili Claxton, and for the next few minutes, we are going on a tour at Presbyterian Boys Senior High School Level, the current champions of the National Science and Mass Peace. Before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video to your friends. Also, hit the notification bell so that you don't get to miss out on any of the videos we post. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more. Hi there, meeting me once again is Tracy Frames, organizing facts, stories, and deep high school updates for your pellucid ears. Stay tuned and get updated. High School Live! <laughs> Welcome back from that short commercial break. So today, as we already did for the Mauli Senior High School, we are doing the same for Presbyterian Boys Senior High School, properly known as Presec Ligon. We are going to start off with some history about the school and end it with some fun facts you did not know about the school. Now, the history of Presbyterian Boys Senior High School. The cry of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana started the church's first synod clerk, Reverend N.T. Clerk, and joined by others over the years, reached a crescendo in 1937. The cry of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana to establish a secondary school a cry started by the church's first synod clerk, Reverend N.T. Clerk, and joined by others over the years, reached a crescendo in 1937. The frantic appeal for help made by the church to the Scottish mission yielded a dry and disappointed result. We came to evangelize, not to educate. Education is a task of the government. This negative response stemmed from fear of providing funds for salaries, buildings and equipment, etc. It was during this trying period that Engman Augustus Wilkins, Engman, 35 years of age, offered to do the impossible himself. He offered to work without pay to help realize the dream of a Presbyterian boy taking this school. He was given an appointment letter signed by the Synod Clerk, Reverend D.E. Aqua, which stated in part, that's quote and unquote, I am directed by the Synod Committee to inform you that you are appointed to be the first principal of the Presbyterian Boys Secondary School, which is going to be established at Odumase in February 1938. This was October 1937. Engman was then ill-equipped like the lad David in the Bible. His qualification then was a teacher certificate externally obtained, but he willingly took up the great challenge and with characteristic energy, immediately moved from Akrofong to Odumase and emerged himself completely in the initial work. Now, the birthplace of a great school. I bet you all thought Presec Legon was originally built in Legon, Accra. No. The Presec Legon was originally in Odumase, which is Odumase Krobo, before it was then moved to its current location in Accra. Now, the formal opening of the school. On the basis of special entrance examination, Engman, who was the then professor of the school, selected his first crop of students. The school was formally opened on 1st February 1938 with 10 students and three teachers. In the presence of moderator Reverend Martinson, with Reverend Aqua, the synod clerk officiating. Later, six more students and a teacher joined them. Now, let's move on to the recruitment of students. The early days of Presec saw EAW going round local churches, campaigning for students. He went as far as Kumase, addressing congregations and persuading them to send their children and wards to the newly opened Presbyterian Boys Senior High School, which was originally at Udumase. The response was not encouraging, but Engman was undaunted and followed up with the further recruitment periodically to search for students. Now let's move on to some of the excellent results of the school. With minimum equipment, staff and poor infrastructure, students and teachers worked very hard to produce excellent results in academic work 
as well as in sports. When the first set of education officers inspected the school after its first few years of existence, they were so impressed by the high standards they saw in all fields of the school life under difficult conditions that they immediately recommended it for government assistance. By dint of hard work of E.A.W. Engman, he was able to build a firm and solid foundation for Presec. Soon, the reputation of the school began to spread and its students' population grew. By his achievements, Engman proved that he was one of the greatest educationalists of his time, achieving the best where many would have given up in despair, inspiring his students with confidence, hardworking spirits, and impeccable manners with effective teaching technique. Now, let's talk about the relocation of the Ligon campus. The school finally gets to the capital city, which is Accra. The school was originally located in Odumase Korobo till 1st of September 1968, when it was rehoused at its new permanent location at Ligon, mile 9, northeast of the University of Ghana. At the new campus, it continued as a boys' boarding secondary school until the mid-1970s, when the sixth form was upgraded to the National Science College. Female students were admitted into the sixth form in small numbers from September 1975. They continued to be part of the students' budget until June 1996, when the last batch left. And so that explains why Presbyterian Secondary School is now a boy school. We are going for a quick commercial break. When we get back, some fun facts you didn't know about Perfect College. Stay tuned. back from that quick commercial break. So as I promised earlier in the video, I'm going to tell you guys some five fun facts about Preset Legon. Today I'm taking Cookie's position. <laughs> so number one, they are seven time NSMQ champions. You guys, I hope you recently watched the National Science and Maths quiz between Preset Legon, Premier College and Addis Ababa College. So um, Premier College was Okay, I'm not going to talk about Premier College because I know what they have done to me. <laughs> so I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to Premier Boys. Please stop attacking me in my Instagram DMs. I beg you. Hey, it's too much. Oh, I beg you. Man, can you hear me? So yeah, they are seven time NSMQ champions. So they are literally the, high, um, the school with the highest number of NSMQ trophies. So number two, they don't talk much. They just show action. Unlike our dear Premier friends. When the NSMG was about to be due, I mean, see, the blood is great. Hey, he set a table before us. <laughs> but President Kulugon was like, they were quiet. Quiet, doing, And they won. So you see, we don't talk much, we just show action. Yes. So, number three, almost all the boys pass with eight A's. This is undoubtedly true. They pass with eight A's flat. So, if 100, make sure what's this year, in 97, ever pass with eight A's flat. So yeah, number four, it is very difficult to gain admission in their school, to be very honest. I know like five friends of mine from JHS who choose to say They pass their BC marvelously, exquisitely well. Like, one of them had, I think, four out of the five people I knew. We had six, one, four, two, and one of them had seven months. But all of them couldn't get into the second one because it's a high class school. Now number five, most of them are DBs. You guys, we can believe for anything I say give much here. It is true. Preset boys are DBs. Preset boys, they, they are DBs. Hey, Minister Ba, MP Ba. Oh, Jesus. You can I got Preset Koba. I said I won't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, that brings us to the end of today's episode of High School Updates. If you enjoyed it, please click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that we post. Subscribe, like, comment, and share, most importantly. Until then, it's a bye for now. High School Life, the Entertainment Center. Oh yeah, education at its best. With entertainment, Compass Live, High School News. Only on High School Live. <laughs>